All right. So here we are, Mongo. We're, hey, I'm here with Dave Marquez at the Epic Mega 120 120 Man Battle Royal. Are you Are you gonna be in it? I'm not gonna be in it. No. No, I'm helping with administration. I know there's a lot of guys out there. I know there's a lot of referees out there that would like to get their hands on a little Dave Marquez, myself included. You what? Yes. Just so why on earth would you want to get a piece of me? It's, it's it's how you talk about us Mexicans, Dave. You put Hang us on, down. You know that one of these ears is Mexican. But oh, just one. This one. The other one is Puerto Rican. But you know what? That's besides the fact because it's going to be very exciting here tonight. You know, I, I working with the NWA, the Again? Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy, SantinoBrothers.net. Check the website out. Check it out, SantinoBrothers.net. We update it every day. What's your website? NWAWrestling.com, Mach1 or M1Wrestling.com, uh, EWFWrestling.com. They can go on and on and on and on. SoCalProWrestling.com. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, yeah, we're very anticipating. Uh, who's your who, Who's your odds on favorite to win? The you know, Mega Battle Royal. I, I think I'd really like to see Sexy Chino l leave again with another Battle Royal under his belt. Well, you know, Sexy Chino is a good pick, but you know what? I got to say, the odds on favorite has to be Little Cholo. He won the 60 man Battle Royal. This has got to be a little bit harder, but it should be nothing to him. And the last time around, you know, Buggy won here. Buggy was how, in a Battle Royal recently. How, how, many, how many people were in that Battle Royal? Not 150. And maybe 12. That's the beauty of the of, of this match. That is that um, anybody can win it. Whether it's a girl. I mean, I've seen I've seen a couple of kids here. They're going to be in the battle royal. You know, I've seen old grizzled veterans here. Um, You're here. Yes. <laughs> Look, I, I got my glasses on the inside. I have mirrors. You see, see that? I do see so, that. But it's going to be a lot of fun. So, so um, Santino Brothers Wrestling wants to know, what's going on with, with NWA, Mach 1, and, and Dave Marquez? What do you Boy, guys have cooking? Uh, well, Mach 1, uh, the NWA altogether worldwide is, is huge. Adam Pierce, our world champions traveling. Uh, our tag team champions are the Skull Crushers. Uh, and there's just tons of stuff going on. You know, uh, Carl Anderson and Giant Bernard just won the IWGP tag titles today. Fergal Devitt won the IWGP Junior Heavy Heavyweight Championship today. It's it's pretty big. Blue Demon down with NWA Mexico. Uh, we got Australia going. It's it's everywhere. So it's safe to say that NWA has got their hands full yeah. and has got their hands in a little bit of everything in professional wrestling. <laughs> as Lucha always. Libre, <laughs> as always, yes. <laughs> but but the people really want to know what does Dave Marquez have cooking? What do you have? What do you have working in that head right there? I see the I see the uh, the mice running. You know, Mickey Mouse running the little uh, the little turntable, and something's going on. <laughs> People want to know what's Dave Marquez got going on. Well, I'll tell everybody who who really wants to know just to stand by because uh, we will have an announcement here shortly of of something that we think is going to be pretty big in the Southern California area. Uh, something pretty big in Kansas City right now with Metro Sports uh, and the uh, Kansas City Memorial Hall. Uh, we'll just there's there's a lot of stuff going through this. Head. It's been an awful long time and. Uh, uh, to get it to where we're at now, uh, I'd say probably six years of solid busting my ass and pissing people off and kissing them later and making up and the whole bit. So I think it'll all be worth it here in the next couple of months. So you heard it here first, an exclusive Dave Marquez. He's always got something cooking. He's always got something going on. I have to hand it to you, Dave Marquez. I mean, every time something's associated with Dave Marquez, I mean, it's gold. But you know what? The people really want to know. Why do they refer to you as the White Devil? <laughs> the White Devil, huh? I don't know. Maybe I make a hell of an impression. I, I don't know. You know what it is. What's it's, that? It's, it's haters. You know, when someone's successful and someone's doing good, you know, people like to hate on them, wouldn't you say? Uh, sure. You know, there's a lot of uneducated people out there. And, and I think, Joe, you and I have been around enough, hell, almost 10 years now, I'd say. Uh, I think differently. Uh, I'm not, I, I, I don't think indie. Uh, I think running in an armory or Boys and Girls Club is, is just fine, which we're doing coming up. But if you have an opportunity to run in an arena or uh, a larger venue or something that's a little more high profile, I say go for it. You know, that, that's interesting that you say that because you know what I tell my students at Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy, SantinoBrothers.net, um, it is what we make it. And same thing in the, in the wrestling business, it is what we 
make it. It could be, you know, um, the crap that you see, like what you saw in the movie The Wrestler, or it could be better than that. It could be bigger than that, you know, and I think that's where people like you, me, John Ian, we come in and we give it everything we got to because wrestling needs all the help it, they can get. I mean, wouldn't you agree? No, absolutely. I mean, you and I have been around the world with each other. We could legitimately say that. Yeah. And uh, we've seen an awful lot, good and bad. And uh, in this area, fortunately, there's a lot of good. The one thing about the guys in this area that I don't think they understand is that they do have it good. Uh, around the country, it's a little tougher. You traveled, you left this area, you saw how tough it was uh, in the very beginning of TNA and whatnot. You know, you, you saw the trials and tribulation of leaving home in that magic fridge. So when you're when you're in this area in Southern California, they're babied a lot, and I'm I'm a part of that. But uh, you know, I, I think for the most part, it's funny. Someone told me once, Dave, you don't run the NWA, you run the Friend WA, and I, and I I, I kind of took that to heat, and I, I appreciate the comment because I try to make everyone feel welcome, and it's just the uneducated, and you might call them haters, but the uneducated who don't understand uh, business, the wrestling business, and you know just just camaraderie, you know that's that and that's that's big to me. It's true. And they, you know, one way or, uh, or another, they will learn. You know, All right, now let me turn this on you. What? Okay, so standing by back here, Joey Chaos, AWS Arena. This is it. It's over. It all ends tonight. Yes, it does end tonight. It's been a great eight years, AWS. I've had epic battles here. Uh, I remember a battle uh, that we had, Mongol Mong, Supreme, and myself against the CZW boys, Messiah, Adam Flash, and Wife Beater in a cage match. Um, so a lot of history um, here in Los Angeles. Southern California and you know uh, people will say what they want to say about Bart but if it wasn't for Bart Kapitsky um, a lot of guys wouldn't have had their, their start here and a lot of guys wouldn't have had a chance to live out their dream wouldn't you agree oh I totally agree with that absolutely how, how do you how do you feel about AWS closing shop I know you're a big part of AWS yeah you know it's it's sad it certainly is a sad time uh, Bart is Bart you know you can't get around that it's the guy's uh, pretty incredible he, he he puts his mind to something, and he doesn't really give a damn what anybody has to say. And he's he's a, he's a maverick. I'd call him a maverick. You know, he goes out there and and uh, like tonight, he, they told me they were going to do a hundred man plus battle royal. And I said, no, we shouldn't do that. And being true, David Marquez, let's not do that. Uh, but they said we we're going to do it, and I conceded and said, okay, let's do it. So we're going to see how that is. But that's Bart. I mean, you know, I, I I've been in the wrestling business for 15 years, and I got to tell you, I got to tell you, Dave Marquez, you've been doing it longer than I have. I ain't never seen anything like this. <laughs> Me um, so I had to make it a point to be part of it, and you know to actually see it from my from my own eyes um, because it is um, it is something that's going to be uh, epic and in a world record breaking. Yeah, no, I agree with you. The other thing that's going to I think be missing, Bart allowed a lot of people to come into this area and show what they had, and I've met a lot of people that way and found good talent that I probably would never have seen before. Uh, you know, and and he was the first guy that I really attacked when it came to the NWA and said, hey, let's join up. And at first he didn't want to do it. And just like everyone else was reluctant, everyone wanted their own identity, but they understood uh, what the method to my madness kind of was. And so now, you know, we're going to, one is going to be gone from our family and we're going to be stuck with three down here, which are fine companies. But Bart was something special. When you came down here, you know, you're, you could take the tie off for me and, and be a little more relaxed and at home. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. And you know what, Bart is going to be missed. And I just want to say thank you, Bart, for you know giving uh, a lot of guys out here in Southern California, you know, the opportunity to uh, to wrestle and do what we what we, what we love to do. Um, you know, I've been doing it for so long, so I've taken uh, a kind of a. Uh, a stance of giving back to the business, you know, um, it just just a lot of people never really gave back to me, so I feel that it's my duty to be different than them and try to help out the younger guys coming up. And you know, we're losing a great guy in uh, in Bar because he he was a big guy in doing that, helping a lot of the younger guys come in. So thank you, thank you, Bart, for really. Uh, for really doing that for a lot of these guys out here. That's right. So, Joey Chaos. <laughs> Dave Marquez. <laughs> Imagine that.